it became clear to me that the framers themselves adopted the Equal Protection Clause, the 14th Amendment, the 15th Amendment in a race conscious way. That they were in fact trying to ensure that people who had been discriminated against, the freedmen in, during the Reconstruction period, uh, were actually brought equal to everyone else in the society. legislator who introduced that amendment said that, quote, unless the Constitution should restrain them, those states will all, I fear, keep up this discrimination and crush to death the hated freedmen. That's not, um, that's not a race-neutral or race-blind idea in terms of the remedy. And, and even more than that, um, I don't think that the historical record establishes that the founders uh, believed that race neutrality or race blindness was required, right? They drafted the Civil Rights Act of 1866, which specifically stated that citizens would have the same civil rights as enjoyed by white citizens. That's the point of that act, to make sure that the other citizens, the black citizens, would have the same as the white citizens, so they recognized that there was unequal treatment, that people based on their race were being treated uh, unequally. And importantly, when there was a concern that the Civil Rights Act wouldn't have a constitutional foundation, that's when the 14th Amendment came into play. So with that as the framing in the background, I'm trying to understand your position that Section 2, which by its plain text is doing that same thing, is saying you need to identify people in this community who have less opportunity and less ability to participate and ensure that that's remedied, right? It's a race conscious effort, as you have indicated. I'm trying to understand why that violates the 14th Amendment, given the history uh, and, and background of the 14th Amendment.